this is a good day for EPE and it's a good day for the Warriors. Uh, I think just a little bit of background would be in order. Uh, we spent quite a bit of time, of course, over this past season evaluating the draft and um, trying to cover things from top to bottom. Um, we became interested in EPE very early on and uh, I was so interested I made a trip to Lubbock, Texas to see him play. Now, he went to Baylor, of course, which is in Waco, so I caught him on a road game, but I was willing to go to that extent uh, to try to get there and make sure that I saw him play. That was the first time. And um, we saw a lot of good things in him on film. Our scouts saw him numerous times, and I really enjoyed watching him play the game because what I saw was a complete basketball player, a guy with a lot of uh, different kinds of skills that will be very helpful in the NBA. Uh, those skills are in place and they'll have to be developed to the NBA level, but the potential is there. It's great potential. He does a lot of things, for example, at both ends of the floor. Uh, on both ends, he's going to be a contributor. Uh, they played a lot of zone. Epe, they did, you know, your coach told me you didn't like to play zone. You wanted the challenge of man-to-man -man and so on, but uh, at that time it was good to play some zone. He can get in and out of the lane defensively which means being able to slide over and cover a lot of ground and um, cover up for people who are penetrating the basket. And when he gets there, he knows what to do. He'll block a shot. Coach Nelson's going to teach him to take a charge. And uh, those kind of skills are in place uh, on the defensive end, as well as the fact that he can play defense one-on-one. -on -one. His offensive game fits right into the things that we do. Uh, we are obviously an up-tempo team, and we play a lot off of the elbow. He makes elbow jump shots, he makes mid-range jump shots, he's a safe passer, and he's going to get offensive rebounds as well as defensive rebounds. So he brings a lot of things to the table. Uh, maybe flew under the radar just a little bit as far as uh, nationwide is concerned. You know, having been uh, at Baylor, Baylor was a team that Epe should get a lot of credit for because he's one of three or four guys there that took that team from a position where they basically didn't even play a full season a few years ago to where they were a good team in the Big 12 and an NCAA tournament team. In addition to all those comments, uh, Epe is an intelligent basketball player. He has a good basketball IQ, and we really are, are very pleased to add him to our roster, and we know that good things are going to happen. How are y'all doing today? Thanks, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. I mean, this this is a blessing, you know, to see see everybody here. You know, have my name called last night, and you know, finally get to this city. I mean, I, I'm excited to play. You know, I know it's a, a lot of hard days in front of me, but you know, I'm willing to take that on. Lowell Cone, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. Larry, when you say that at could you be a little detailed and say what you mean by that? Uh, what I mean by that is he has an understanding of the game at the defensive end of the court. If he's supposed to slide over defensively, he knows how to get there and will anticipate it quickly enough to be there on time. And uh, some guys are a little bit reactionary players. Uh, he has a, an ability to anticipate. Everybody does react defensively, but anticipation gives you a little bit of an edge, and he has that. Uh, in regards to the offensive end of the floor, he knows enough basketball that he's going to be able to fit into whatever structure of play is taking place. And if Coach Nelson calls a certain play, I'm confident that as time goes on, he's going to know exactly where to be and, and have the ability to be there on time. I also think that uh, most of our guys anymore have to become students of the game in the locker room, and uh, he has that component according to his coach anyway. Sign Mets, Comcast. Um, this for both you guys. One of the thing I one of the things I keep reading about Pepe is that his upside, he's already at his upside. I mean, he's not going to get too much better. Why is that something that they, they, that people are saying about you, and they, you know, assuming you don't believe it? Why? Um, probably because of my age, you know, but. You, everybody always has work to do, you know, so I'm just going to come in day in, day out and just work hard and try to get better every day. 
Well, Matt, I think it happens with a lot of guys in our league. Uh, I think part of that is that Baylor was not a national powerhouse. And we have players right now where uh, they come into this league with a big reputation because the national media jumped on, you know, their side of the story. And then you have other players who haven't been in that position who are actually good players and they're more deserving of whatever might have come their way media-wise. Uh, I feel that's exactly where Epe is. Uh, there have been so many small college basketball players that have come into this league at age 22 or 23 and nobody talked about uh, an upside. You'd have trouble selling this kind of story or this concept to Joe Dumars, for example. And I don't agree at all that there isn't a, a big upside here. This is a guy who's gotten better every place he's gone and he's going to continue to get better. Matt Morrison with Comcast Sportsnet. Epe, from the time that you declared uh, your eligibility for the draft in April to sitting here as a member of the Golden State Warriors or a draft pick of the Golden State Warriors, what is your perception of Golden State? What have you learned about it? How do you feel about being drafted by this team? Uh, I, you know, I'm happy I got my name called at six. You know, all day yesterday I was shaking. You know, I was nervous. You know, my agent, he knew where I was going all day, so he was just playing with me. But, you know, I'm happy to be here. You know, I know when it comes to the fans, I mean, it's one of the best in the, uh, in the NBA. Um, last five years, averaging 18,000. Um, the way they play is kind of the way Coach Drew let us play last year, you know, a high-octane offense. So, you know, I'm ready to come in and work hard. Uh, he's a legend, you know. Anytime you have a chance, you, you, you have to cherish that opportunity. Additional questions? Jim, do Epe, how do you feel about uh, acclimating yourself with these teammates, the new teammates? I hear you're great in the locker room, and you all you already asked, you know, where do these players live? You want to be around them? Um, I'm just going to come in and just try to find my place. You know, I mean, chemistry is a um, a big a big deal in winning games. So I'm just going to come in and, and try to find my role. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the uh, photo ops now. Get the table out of the way there. <laughs>